guys and girls, my name is Hotsasi and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. We, last time apparently we had a bit of uh, high stress. No idea why. Um, wounds, yucky lungs, soggy feet, hungry. And maybe a bit of uh, low oxygen up here. So hopefully that will go down. We started here with uh, adding some paintings that should uh, increase morale. And that in turn should help with the stress level. Um, what we also want to focus on in this episode is getting uh, the main power line uh, over to here so that we can pull in uh, more power into our base and, and have a more sustainable setup. So maybe uh, we need to mop up this first. This uh, uh, liquid chlorine um, to get that out of the way, just in case um, we are uh, heating up this area because it is freezing cold here. So that's why the, the chlorine is liquid, but I don't want to uh, to uh, to have to have chlorine gas floating around. So let's get rid of it while in uh, liquid form, and then we do not have to worry about and. Luckily, the stress level is going down. Unfortunately, we still cannot afford to uh, add more duplicates because we cannot feed them. Uh, with the farm that we have here, that's just good enough uh, for uh, sustaining four. And we have to have heaters on both ends to uh, ensure that the temperature does not drop too low. So, we dug out a bit more up here. And then we can plan the power. That's this tab with uh, heavy watt conductive wire and we will be using gold because we do have a gold volcano here so yeah let's put that uh, first over to there Currently we have this one uh, wire that can carry 2000 watt, but we have more appliances hooked up to that, so if everything would run, um, that would not be that great. So what I think is we pull this one over to here and then connect it down here and then we can reuse that one to go down there and separate this part and then we will also have something going on up there but 
one thing after the uh, the other. Um, stress is going down further, and I think uh, I will just let the, the duplicates do a bit of uh, of work. I can also um, put in a level here on this side so that they can finish that isolated wall and eventually also add in the wiring there. We now have dug out the hallway up here so that I can actually add the, the wire all the way to over here and I think I will go up with the heavy watt wire because uh, I will probably want to uh, hook up more than just this pump there then over here I extended the ladder a bit from further below so we can directly connect that wire and I also added a bottle emptier for our dirty water, uh, which we also already collect here from the from the generators, and uh, that way we can get rid of uh, what's what's sitting around here. Over on this side, there was not much progress. I think because they focus more on things up here, but as you can see, aside from the from the wiring, uh, this progress uh, uh, is quite fast. So uh, we can then also um, put in. Transformer. Um, let's put that one here, and then maybe, maybe not. Let's try that again. Transformer here. that over to there and then we can actually keep the, the power line up there and have this going down here and then of course we want to have another power line here in the wall And here, along this, this hallway, we can have additional batteries, should we, uh, should we want to, to have them. I think cooling them will not really be a problem. These ones up here are probably getting a bit warmer due to the uh, fact that they are sitting on top of a gold volcano. Uh, which will be active for uh, 24 more cycles. This one will be active for almost 90 more cycles. So we are good there, I think. And we constantly get a bit more condensed chlorine gas here. So, we're constantly trying to mop everything up. That we get some nice base eventually. they managed also this wall and we can finally uh, connect 
this piece and this piece and then basically turn off here and also I think we can deconstruct this part and maybe this part thereby separating the, the two networks well they are separated down here anyway but we can get a few resources back and with that we are then now able maybe to put in a second wire this here and there we will have a bridge over the actual door so we do not power the door nice so on here we have 1560 watt potential load basically it's is what we have here on that side and on here now we only have 1220 watt that's all within limit and then I think we can even the space heater Enable the building. Or was it just not hooked up? It was. And then we can actually think about. shorter and four high let's just put the roof in like that and heater and then we will need some light um, a ceiling light air and one over that up Open that up and then we 
need a pipe going down here. There. And let's hook that up to this one. power from there that's only for the, the coal generator so let's leave that one on the other line Otherwise, that will not work. Now that we have our second farm in and up and running, we only have to wait a bit uh, until uh, the uh, air gets warm enough for our crops to, uh, to grow here. And then we can actually think about expanding our little colony because then we should be able to feed more than four duplicates. And uh, with the, uh, the hydrophonic pump, we of course need a pump down here to pump in, pump in the water. Uh, we need to light it up. We have our two, um, uh, two uh, uh, heaters here on the side. We could actually make this into a farm, but for that we would have to close it also off on this side, and there is a heater in the way. So maybe sometime in the future we can redesign this a bit, uh, move everything over to actually have a, a proper farm going there. But that's it for today we managed to uh, to expand or set up our uh, power power wiring uh, in a more sustainable way uh, so we can go forward and uh, do other things uh, without having to constantly worry that some wiring will break due to uh, overload. Uh, we will still have to see how we deal with the fact that eventually we might run out of, uh, of gas, uh, but that's still uh, uh, 80 cycles away, so not something that I have to worry uh, right now. So hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next one uh, subscribe uh, until then goodbye <laughs>